All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, and hopefully, they got that pushing that word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the hopefully, the believers, the listeners whom have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shem Al Shah? And uh, what I want to get on this morning, real quick, you know, um, just listen to the brother, you know, his um, testimony about his dream, you know, how pretty much he was being aided by angels, you know, during time of trouble, you know, as far as getting food. And uh, Lord would like to respond, you know, to that whole testimony because he made a lot of uh, good points. And, um, what I want to just speak on real quick, just touching on is how, you know, we have miracles on deck, all right? There are already miracles, you know, set up, you know, to be done to aid the elect, you know, during these times, you know? And I want to start out here just to show how you, how about Shema Al-Shah work because we know, you know, that the most high, you know, deals, all right, with both sides, all right, the left and the right. Now, on the left, all right, we see Esau Edom raised up. You know, he became powerful. He's carnal. You know, he's pretty much in control of the food. Um, he's in control, you know, of water, you know, uh, the grid, you know, for the electricity and, you know, all these different things. But he was raised up for a purpose. As you read in Romans 9, <coughs> 17, it says, For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So just as ancient Pharaoh was raised up, all right, in the um, ancient world, became a powerful nation, a superpower, you know, wealthy, you know. Just as ancient Egypt was raised up, Pharaoh was raised up. Well, you how about Shema Shah did the same thing to Esau, and just as he showed his power. You know, in ancient Egypt, you know, with those plagues, all right, and then constantly hardened Pharaoh's heart just so he could show more power. Well, he's doing the same thing, all right, in this time, all right. Esau Edom is hardened for the Lord to show his power. So the Most High, he creates scenarios just to showcase his power. And that's why even in the midst of Jacob's trouble, there's just a scenario set up by Yahweh Bashim al to showcase his power to the to the believers and the non-believer. See, to us, he's going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, he is. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, he delivers. You see, that's who he's going to be to us. Lord willing, we endure. But to everyone else, he's going to be Alashaja. All right? Terrible demon-like power. So he's going to get his point across both ways. You know, our faith, you know, is going to increase. You know, and these people fear of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to increase, and pride is going to decrease. You know, when you go to Psalms forty-six and one, it says, "The Most High is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, a very present help in trouble." So He's a present help when in trouble. All right, and what time are we coming into? All right, the time of Jacob's trouble, which he will be a very present help to those that believe on him now, those that fear now, those, all right, that are, are making sacrifices for him now. You see, we're finna see if our sacrifices was acceptable, man. The time we spent, the energy, you know, the resources, the, you know, the detachments, the losses, you know, we're gonna see if that sacrifice is acceptable, all right, through Yahweh Shai in these times, all right, and we receive that mercy, you know. But he's a present help in a time of trouble. All right? And what trouble is coming? This is um, Jeremiah 30, all right, and 6. It said, Ask you now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman and travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. All faces turned into paleness, man. A woman, I mean, a man. Is in the posture of a woman that's having a child, showing you how bad the times will be. You see? Alas, 
All right, verse 7, Alas, for that day is great, so there is none like it. It is even the times of Jacob's trouble, but he, all right, that remnant of Jacob shall be saved out of it, man. And that's, you know, what we're about to see take place, man, you know. Miracles are on deck for the elect, you know. And I just want to put that out there real quick. I said, Lord, would I can do a uh, response, you know, this evening. And I get situated at the house. Um, dealing with that brother lesson, his testimony. All right. So on um, with that, I hope you brothers and your few sisters edified to the next time and say shalom. Quran Yasha Allah Baba Baal DTA soon.